Hi, William Hoen here for the playthrough of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. It's a game I've bought on my iPod 11 years ago. And uh, I'm finally playing it. So, uh, yeah, I was curious. I was looking at my uh, uh, on my list in the App Store of games I bought, and I've seen that. And so I thought, hey, you know what? I guess it's time to look into it. So I've been playing this on my lunch break at work. Um, the, the game is divided into what they call session. You could call that chapters. Or you could, you could call that songs, in a way. Uh, the game is presented as an EP. So, um, it's... The whole game seems to be an excuse to make music. Uh, far from the war-ravaged steppes of Sitia, we met a dark-haired girl in a sunlight meadow. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, she was known as Samae, and she seemed nice. And that's all we're gonna get from her. I guess we'll come back here at some point. Uh, not in this, not in this session. So I, I was, uh, as I was saying, the whole game is pretty much about about music. Uh, while I do like the visuals, uh, the music is what is standing out uh, in this game, at least in my opinion. Just tell me in the comment section what you thought about the music, and if it's what makes you vibe the most in this video. The wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, he was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. Logfella knew all about our hopeful errand, and he agreed to lead us up to the old road. Still, we definitely got the feeling that he wasn't super jazzed about this. A lot of care was put into those animations, though. I'm talking a lot about music, but... I can't say I dislike the visuals. And so the whole story is given is given to us in that way we're we are drip fed of stuff. The woodsman waited for us to continue along the path to the start of the old road. It sucks because right now as I'm recording the voice, I'm recording this uh, after the fact, I've played that like two days ago. Um, I cannot hear the music while I record the voice, so this is uh, this sucks. But this is the setup I have: Scythia, Cimera, Assyria, and Persia. These are all kingdoms of men. Mingita is the kingdom of the cloud. Not sure I. Uh, said all those words correctly. The woodsman confirmed 100% that he had the only key to the locked door in the stone wall. It was a really nice looking key. We were totally ready to just touch and hold on the path ahead to move it, move it, move it. I think it's from the song. I like to move it, move it. Maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm just saying words. There is battle in the game, and as you will see, uh, I struggled quite a bit to understand the battle system. just trying to understand what 
what that was. It's just to bring up the menu. And I had to do some editing too. Because uh, to draw your sword you uh, have to uh, turn your phone in portrait mode. Which uh, the woodsman had seen some kind of creepy monster thing and he figured it just let us handle it. So I went and handled it. By the side of the old road, there was a stone carved with a pair of glyphs in the shape of a sword and a shield. Note to myself, next time uh, I need to um, I need to keep the, the words on the screen a bit longer, it's kind of hard. So here, I, I didn't know what to do, but um, I thought I could block him and attack uh, back, but didn't seem to work. So uh, what work is that I uh, I uh, swing. I, I sw uh, you swing the sword when he jumps at you. This is the best way to to do it, from what I've understood. Now I was trying to block then slash. But it's it's just better to slash when he's jumping at you. So as you can see, my editing is a bit wonky, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I do what I can. And while I was playing it, it felt it felt like this could have been released yesterday. It didn't age. That, that's, that's the beauty of, of those games. That, that, that music and graphical style will always work. At least, that, that's what I believe. And I liked the fact that they updated the game so it's using the, the whole screen. Sometimes when you play older games on your phone, uh, you will get black bars on each side. We spied the solitary grave at the edge of the perilous precipice and we wondered what was up with that. I like, I like how they, they say the... How they speak about things. The writing. That's that's the word I had in mind. I like the the writing of the game. At the edge of the perilous precipice stood a stone carved with the glyph of a skyward sword beneath the colors of a rainbow. We Scythians loathe rainbows. And a bit of a little bit of lore. And the woodsman known as Logfella had chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter near the perilous precipice. Logfella seemed to know all about the loadsome rainbow and the nearby glyphs depicting the skyward sword. And yet Logfella offered zero help about what to do next, which kinda rubbed us the wrong way, if we're being totally honest. And I was uh, a bit lost. Uh, I, I, I was rubbed the wrong way. The woodsman... oh yeah. It, it just repeats the same thing. And yeah, I was rubbed the wrong way. To one side of the perilous precipice stood a wondrous dolmen thing that sheltered two comfortable looking seat. So I thought, hey, I will sit. Probably something will happen. But nope. Uh, we can, uh, why don't we just the um, just graphical style reminds me of uh, Songbringer. You can look it up on my channel. I have quite a few videos about that. 
the the bushes they are very they're very uh like songbringer well songbringer is like this game because it was released before and sorry about that it's just uh, i tried to uh draw it, to draw the sword So I tried some stuff here. It didn't work. You you need to do it in the rainbow. I should have uh, thought of that before because uh, we see the rainbow on the We had bridged the chasm and we felt super smart. We told Logfeta that we sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery known as the Megatome. The Megatome lurked somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous precipice beneath Mingita. We resolved to get the Megatome and then get out alive. So let's go get the Megatome. I love that they named the book that way. So yeah, at, at that point I've discovered that I could just keep my finger on the screen and instead of tapping repeatedly to where I wanted to go. Which is probably a better way to moving around. In a subterranean corridor, we spied an ominous statue, but we didn't worry too much about it. Maybe we should've. We'll see. Now, maybe I should have cut this part, but decided to keep it in anyway, but the, the, the right way is the middle, middle stair. There's nothing much to do uh, in here. But, you know, might as well just leave it there so you can see the whole, uh, the whole game. But there was nothing much to, to see. Maybe there's some, some type of new game plus where some uh, something else appears when you replay the game. I, I have no idea. I know very little about this game actually. I've bought it because it was kinda hype uh, when it came out years and years ago. But I've just I, I remember trying it for a few minutes back in the day and that was it. We found the megatome clasped in the two bone hands and we felt our sword steer in his sheet. Is that how you say that? 
They use a lot of words I don't understand. Well, no, it's not true. I understand the words, but... Uh, I'm not saying them often. If at all. Right, so we have the Megatome now. And of course, this thing wakes up. So now we have to uh, run away. It will chase us for quite some time. And sorry about that, but... Uh, when I was playing on my lunch break, uh, the music in this part of the game was way too loud. I really had to drop it down a bit. This is quite a frightening creature. And so I thought this could be hard because uh, I sucked with the wolf, but uh, it was really not that hard. Then again, um, I don't think the game is that much about combat. Uh, it's really an adventure game focused on music. This is this is what I'm getting out of this first out of this first uh, session of of playing the game. I'm looking forward to uh, to play it some more. But I'm keeping that for my lunch break. The, the session, the first session was 20 minutes. So if if it's all uh, 20 minutes session, it's perfect for uh, for a lunch break recording. Hey. We had retrieved the Megatome and Logfella was 100% ready to move it, move it to the safety of his lodgings. We sensed a gathering thunderstorm and yet a little song began in our heart. I wish the sidebar would disappear. If I had one thing to uh, to criticize the game for, that, that would be it. Then again, I don't know how much it's the it's the developer's fault or just you know iPhone. But I wish it could uh, it could not be there. But visual, music, writing, it's all pretty good. Let me know what you, uh, what you think of it. We're, uh, we're getting close to the uh, end of the session. But yeah, let me, let me know uh, 
if you're looking forward to see more. Astride the log bridge on the old roads to the Grim Flag Pole. We're almost there. I'm sure we're gonna see that that beast in in the future. In the light of the gathering storm, Logfella admitted he had a serious case of the EBGBs right about now. Was Logfella intentionally freaking us out? In any case, it was probably totally safe to just take shelter for a bit. And that was session one of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. We got the Megatome and we are the smartest. We are indeed. We are pretty smart. So you've awoken the deathless specter who slumbered in the darkness beneath Mingita. Yikes. Consequently, a sinister thunderstorm, loom, and the lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. The upshot is that you got the burdensome book known as the Megatome. In our next session we'll discuss its strange purpose. Our research shows that prolonged exposure to the mythopoetic psychocosmology of sword and sorcery EP can have adverse side effects. So now that you've completed session 1, how's about we take a little break? I'll be right here when you're ready for session 2. So this is it for the first session of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you want me to do any changes for uh, session 2. And uh, until then, bye bye.